So something I always like to do is I just like to first get a project to work before I start looking into the actual code of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mtas.org and grab the free open source ActionScript compiler. Um, and then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to swfmil.org and grab the awesome swfmil Windows binary as well. And I'm also just going to extract those um, into my working directory that I like to work with. Okay, swfmil. Let's create a folder for mtask as well. Let's get those in there. Because I really like to just prove that I can get this code to work um, before I actually start getting into it. So, okay, let's get swfmil in here. What I'm going to start showing you after I get these all extracted is, is I'm going to show you how to add these to your path as well. Um, and what adding something to a path, oh, can't forget to um, extract the preloader as well. So, a path actually allows you to access something from the command line. So let's go into advanced environment variables and you'll see that I have a lot of extra stuff in here that you may not have but path is always there. And each entry is delimited by a semicolon so let's see g swf mil is our path to the swf mil.exe so g swf mil put a semicolon there and we want to add m task as well so there it is g m task Okay, so now what I'm going to do is after this gets done, I'm going to open a command prompt and show you that now when we type mtask, we get the in SWF mill, we get the options for it. So we know we've got it in our path. So let's open up our project directory now, and I've included a file that has commands for you um, that you just have to run these commands in order to get your uh, flvplayer.swf. So let's get to that directory and now the first thing you want to run is the swf mill command and that creates uh, see there's no swf in there right now so we're going to create one and this will create uh, a library with all of the assets the two images and a video player uh, video surface in there for you. And now what we're going to use is we're going to use mtas to inject the compiled action script code back into the SWF we just created with SWF mill. So okay, we've got preloader.as and video display, and we use main, and the input SWF is flvplayer.swf. We run that, and now if you look at the file again, it's grown in size and the modification dates changed. So let's give it a try. And you can see there it goes. I mean it's on my local machine so you don't see the preloader, but it's playing the FLV.